bop. Oh, let me take this down. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm speaking about creating content to help you attract your target customers to your website and ultimately purchasing your product or your service. Whenever you're trying to market your product or your service online, you need to think about the broader picture. What are you trying to achieve? Hopefully you're passionate about your product or your service. Maybe you're selling a health related product and you know that your product really helps people maybe with their immune system or it's healthy for them and you want to educate people. Nine times out of ten, especially if you're not a big name company and you're not a big name product yet, people are not going online searching for your product. People are normally going online searching for information and if you can provide that information and then refer people to your product or to your service, then you're more likely to be successful with marketing your product or your service online. So let's say, for example, you sell some sort of carrot juice product and your carrot juice, you know, really helps people, maybe it improves their blood flow or whatever it is that you know your product is really helpful for. Instead of just promoting your product and taking pictures of it and telling people about the benefits of it, why don't you educate people? You know, show them exercise routines that they can can do to improve their health. Maybe show them about different programs on television that they can watch and maybe even review them um, that help people or, or speak about health related topics. You might even want to create a, a free recipe book on your website where people can come and download healthy foods to eat and just educate people on how to live healthier lifestyles. You can even put out a video blog series about you know mental health and how to stay mentally healthy as well as physically healthy and, and emotionally healthy and people appreciate information and I would strongly recommend to give out your best information for free because people buy from people that they know like and trust and if people can trust your information then they're more likely to heed from your recommendations and if you're recommending your own product or your own service they're more likely to buy that so essentially whenever you're marketing your product or your service online whether it be through your blog or whether it be through social media marketing you don't want to just think selfishly in terms of how can I push my product out there you want to think okay who is my target audience what am I trying to achieve how does my product or my service help them does it help them in their business does it help them in their relationships does it help them with their health what area of their life does it help them and how can I provide them with valuable information how can I provide them with something that is helpful and useful to them so that it attracts them to my website and then attracts them to your lead magnet whatever that is your free giveaway your free guide and then you can offer them a solution to their problem if they've got health related problems or health related questions or if they've got relationship problems or relationship questions or whatever it is that your product or service provides to them you can offer your service because hopefully you're providing a service that is going to help them even further along the line so you can monetize your content and your sales funnel further down the line but in essence you don't want to think selfishly when marketing whatever it is online you don't want to just grab people and push what you're doing out there you want to be getting useful information online you know there's so many people online searching for information they're not searching for your product they're not searching for your service and yeah there are a few people who will go online and they already know where it is that they want and they're in the ready to buy mindset and you can attract those kinds of people to your site as well maybe using Google AdWords you know once people are ready to buy then it's easier to convert them from a visitor into a sale but essentially when you're content marketing or when you're social media marketing you want to be pushing out useful information you want people to be following you for your useful stuff and they're more likely to share that kinds of stuff and to tell their friends and family about it because they find they're gaining value from it it's not just a transactional relationship that you have with them where they give you money and you give them a product or a service but they're actually learning from you they're actually benefiting from following you so hopefully after watching this video you've taken a few steps back and starting to think about your content strategy and starting to think in what ways can your social media marketing or your content marketing help the people that you're trying to serve? What information can you put out there that's going to attract the kinds of people who are likely to make a purchase decision when they do finally arrive on your website? If this video it did help you out, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day and I will see you soon.